one more thing. You know, the who is Malek? Who is Malek? Malek is a god, so they say. And let me just read to you a little bit of it. So you're not like, ah, uh, who is this thing? So Malek is the biblical name for, oh, I just lost it. Biblical name of a Canaanite god. The name Malek results from the dysphemic vocalization of the Second Temple period. And I'm going to go down a little bit. Tradition depicted Malek as a bronze statue heated with fire into which the victims were thrown. This has been associated with reports by the Greco-Roman authors on the child sacrifices in Carthage to Baal. So, basically, Malek is Baal, pretty much, is what I'm, I, I, I get from it. If you go to Google and you go to images of Malek, you see the Bohemian Grove, which is the owl, which is supposed to symbolize Malek, Baal. And as, of, as I speak to you right now, in New York City, the temple, the arches to the temple of Baal are, it's being erected. You know, that is a slap in the face. That is the arches to the temple of the devil. You know, and it's all very symbolic of what the temple of triumph, triumph, Palmyra, means. You know, to, to, un to truly understand it, you have to do research. And don't do it by your own knowledge. Pray for God to fill you with His knowledge, with His understanding, and with godly wisdom. So you, it's not you and your mind making it up, forming and, and you know, in, interpreting it in what you think let it be God showing you the truth and so if you go to images you know there it, it's basically the devil with this cow thing with horns it, it's terrible it's Baphomet you know it's so bad so as I read this right now you know, there is a statue, there, there, the arches in New York is erected, and it's terrible because I saw a video recently of it, and people are saying that this thing is peace. They are claiming it to be, um, what, what was it? A monument. And it, it, this should be a monument. Like, what? This is evil. We are in the times right now where good is evil and evil is good. People are so deceived. You know, Satan and his kingdom is truly forming and is truly being erected. And it's getting worse and worse. And darkness is just upon this earth like crazy. And let me tell you, it's only going to get worse. Destruction and chaos is at the door. And the order out of chaos, the New World Order, is coming, is being formed as we speak right now. You know, the elections is a distraction between... Trump and Hillary and what you see on the news is all but a, it's nothing but a joke it's a distraction to keep you from knowing the truth of what is truly happening you know so much is going on we are living God has truly picked us you me everybody around you 
to be alive and to see these things, to be alive for a time like this, you know? Allow God to use you in the way that you can be used. You know, pray for the Lord to use you so that you are just not sitting there, not doing anything for the kingdom. You know, there is so much to do and so little time and we need to be ready. Be ready. Be ready for change. Be prepared. Because we don't know the day or hour, but we know it's at the door. We know by the signs. We know by what we hear, by what God has shown us and many other watchmen and women. You know, not everybody hears from the Lord, which is why it is your responsibility to take it up to the Father. Ask him to show you and he will.